<laughs> Let's see who has the potato bloods in their veins here today as we are about to get the grand finals. Or excuse me, not the grand finals. This is the Road to Redemption finals coming up. Gosh, I've already lost my train of thought with all the subplots going on. You've got Zenion bringing out a Junker. And potatoes. That's You've got Spudnik. <laughs> Which means potato flipping will happen. We have it's the going to happen. we have the runner up in last week's SCS looking to get back into the grand finals here today. Uh, we'll continue that thought in just a moment. I'll take red, you take blue. Ship number one is the Jib, piloted by Infinity Omelette. It is a uh, Brawl Spire, Watcha, Artemis, Artemis, and Gatling. Ship number two is the Team Rocket, piloted by Spudnik. Oh, there's another potential trademark issue right there. <laughs> <laughs> it is piloted by Spudnik. It is a Junker with an Artemis up front, Gatling Mortar, and... Uh, Actually, it's a double Artemis, uh, you know, so Artemis front, Mine Launcher Artemis on one side, Gatling Mortar on the other side, take it away. Uh, ship number three is the old Derp Wagon, piloted by um, Zedion, having a Hades uh, Artemis Artemis on the left side with Gat Mortar on the right, and you have uh, GW Bush, piloted by Narayan, uh, Carrowfish up in front with on the side yes, table. yes, and that is is his trademark uh, ship right there, the Blenderfish with double side caros. And uh, in response to oh, Princess Tutu, quite... in pr response to Princess Tutu, that coin can go flip itself, and I have been quoted on that <laughs> on the official forum. So there you go. And also, there was quite a very interesting Goomba stomp there by George Bush on the Team Rocket. Yes. Oh, there's uh, a whole break on the jib and a good watch of follow up uh, yep. by the jib on the year old year old derp wagon. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure Zedion is probably going to be flipping potatoes here any moment. Huh? As there's a whole break on the ye old derp wagon. Uh, yeah. The derp wagon not looking so great right now. Down at 50%. From Hull is the GW Bush looking to ground and pound Team Rocket. Team Rocket, of course, is a junker. Oh, they're not going to be able to get up there. Mm -hmm. That is a good job of the GW Bush. Watch for that ram. This could be a ram opportunity for Narayan. You know he cannot pass up a ram. We will not see any concerns like we did with the uh, Double Squid, Double Mobula match. Yeah. There will be ramming in this match by GW Bush. It's not a matter of if, but when... Oh, oh. a beautiful ram right there by the Very GW well Bush, just as I said. Getting mm -hmm. the sandwich on the jib, 1-0 in favor of blue. And there is a follow-up kill by Team Rocket. Team Rocket picking it up, but they do not get first blood. It is 1-1, all tied up. It is as if right on cue, Narayan basically said, Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of ramming things, here you go. <laughs> here <we> go. <laughs> oh, mine's away. See, we have to keep our, we at least have to keep up our uh, times that we're correct up as well. So, and that yeah, was a good yeah. mine by Team Rocket, and that's where the mine mm -hmm. launcher is going to come into play. It is for, uh, to deal with the GW Bush, who is a ramming ship. If they can get that side on, if they're caught on the long side, they can get that mine up, they can get a lock mine up. Uh, that could be good. In fact, let's see what that uh, let's see what that gunner has. He's running with uh, Lesmont Greased and Lock. So yes, Lock will come into play. There is no burst, however, downstairs. So that downstairs Artemis is going to. Oh, excuse me, it's not Artemis downstairs. That is a Gatling. <laughs> yeah. So that is a good combination and a kill right oh. there on the derp wagon. Team Rocket moving in two one red. So red overcoming that. Uh, red is overcoming the first, uh, kill first kill advantage right there. There you go. Mm -hmm. Things have finally slowed down. That they have. And I, I will need to say this. Um, I, I do need to say something in regards to uh, last tournament. And I think I gave uh, I think I gave Narayan a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, um, unnecessary criticism in last tournament. He is mm. he actually is a very good blender fish pilot. Um, yeah. I need to I need to make sure and be fair for the record here. He's a very good blenderfish pilot. Um, mm -hmm. He is a very a hyper aggressive blenderfish pilot, um, but uh, he is very very aggressive. The one thing you can do about him is you can use his aggressiveness against him. But yeah. if he if if he gets the right angle, he will make you pay with the best of them. Yeah, so um, positioning around him is very crucial. Yes, yes. That is the one thing you have to do around Orion. And especially on a map mm -hmm. like this, this map works perfectly for him. And that for tower, yeah. look at that tower. That is a perfect tower on the Team Rocket. Right there by Narayan. Very well executed. Yes, yeah. very well done. And that is the positioning I was talking about yeah. earlier. Narayan knows his way around close range maps. This is the type of map that suits him very well. You get so, him on an open map like Dunes, Water Hazard, things like that. Not so, He's not as great about those, yeah. but you get him on this, this map. You get him on Canyon. This is yeah. perfect for him. And, mm -hmm. and Periton Rumble. These are the perfect types of maps for him. There's some really good uh, flying by Zedion here. Um, 
I wouldn't say he's out of his element, but he kind of is. Well, well, no, but he's doing some work right now he's in that junker, really well, and he no, picks it up right there, too, too, all tied up. He, I guess I guess he's showing that he's a little more versatile than just being a hyper aggressive pilot here. <laughs> see see this is this is what I get for saying we got two hyper aggressive pilots we're going to have pilots. a hyper aggressive yep. team <laughs> Zedion, oh you want to see hyper aggressive huh switches okay. to switches to junker as there's a yep. kill right there 3 2 red <laughs> <laughs> Tar barrel and SCS so niche <laughs> Very niche <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh of course, it was a very well-executed uh, tar barrel yeah. there, so mm -hmm. you, you got to give props where they're due. Narayan with a perfectly executed tar barrel to set up uh, that one kill as well, so got to give him yeah. a lot of credit there. Uh, of course, now really it's three good, two. Uh, heady shots going yeah, in and they're and Team Rocket is oh th they oh, spawn on top of a mine. mine. Wow, don't see that very often. Uh, do not see that very often. However, oh, Jib is moving in. Oh, wow. Let's oh. keep an eye on this. Jib getting hyper. Oh, well, oh, that's a very unfortunate bump, too. Uh, yep. They're getting very aggressive here. Uh, tar going up by the GW Bush. I love that tar right there. It cuts off the Jib and makes it a uh, and makes it a very clean one-on-one -on -one GW Bush and Team Rocket. I love that call on the tar. Yep. Even though it didn't pick up anything, that's a positioning tar. Uh, mm -hmm. Really? Oh goodness! These clouds need to get out of the way here. There we go. <laughs> GW. These clouds are very rude. They're blocking our view here. You know why? Why? why tar, uh, clouds. Why do you have to be such tar? <laughs> Face I, uh, I know, right? So uh, <laughs> GW Bush has been heartbroken. He is backing up that truck right now. He does not yep. like his position. Uh, I don't know. Now they're backing up out of their uh, spawn here, so they're moving towards yep. the other corner of the map. Are they looking to get the derp wagon on the flank? What are they trying to do here? Because uh, this is this is this is an interesting decision right now by yeah. the GW Bush, unless they're intentionally trying to get out in the open to make the mines less of a problem. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Oh, very unfortunate as the car as the heavy carronade actually hit a mine mid flight. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? You don't see that very often either. Mm -hmm. No. Just looking at the other engagement here. Oh, look like at this. This is what GW Bush was looking for. To pull the Team Rocket out of the equation. Uh, the Junker's yep. a very slow ship. Now they're looking for the 2v1 on the Jib. A great job by Narayan drawing the Junker out. Here comes the Ram here. This could be a sandwich opportunity in play here. In fact, they've got the short side, I believe, of the Yield Derp Wagon turned with yep. that Ram. Oh, a good mine right there. However, the Jib has been whole broken. This was a good decision right here by Narayan picking up the kill. 3-3. Yeah. Really good, good tactical play, yeah. decision. However, the yep. GW Bush has the back to the team rocket. And somebody's talking about tar mines, and I am getting nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am triggered. Yeah. Sir, get out of here with that. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, Blue is trying to reassert their dominance here. They do have first kill advantage. Uh, I will say this, though. We won't have to worry about the timer in this matchup, not with uh, Narayan piloting. As Team Rocket is bottoming out, this should be a guaranteed kill here. Team Rocket basically scooting, scooting, and oh, GW Bush yeah. about to put them in the, out of their misery. Yeah. There it is. 4-3 Blue. Yep. Very well done. And we and, and if this... If this uh, if this holds, if this score holds, we are set for a rematch of last week's uh, grand final. Yep. The jib caught out in the open right. Yule derp wagon looking to push. GW Bush could be looking to flank here. Could they be doing the? Uh, uh, could they be doing the out of bounds flank, or are they going to go front? How are they going to play this out? No, they're not going to do that yet. Yeah, I think they're just getting some cover here so that their teammate can spawn in and then. Yeah, looks like no. I was talking about the GW Bush, not the uh, uh, not the Jib. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's okay. That's okay. Uh, oh, Team Rocket is about to get flanked. Oh, Team Rocket about to get yeah. flanked here. Here comes the flank. Looks like they're going to go for the Team Rocket. They are declaring them as the weak link here. Yep. Jib, meanwhile, pushing in on the old derp wagon. They don't have much choice here. They got to push him out. Um, however, I think the damage is done. Yeah, the damage is done right now. Team Rocket, yep. if they get balloon broken one more time, it's GG. Nope. In fact, I there it is. Done. Yeah, that's going to be GG right there. Narayan smells blood in the water. How? Oh, he misses oh, the ram, but he's going to go for Goomba. Well, no, he did just he whiff has. on everything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Ooh. Oh, he's in a bad. He oh, he's in the bad place right now. Yeah. He's in the bad place. The old derp wagon looking to move in. Oh, so much for that GG call. <laughs> Big mistake right there. You gotta you gotta time those rams. Gotta time those rams.
he, he missed it by hair, basically, in this case, so... Yeah, he's gonna stay on the seven. Team Rocket. This is still the correct decision. Go after the Team Rocket. You yep. can you can afford to eat it with the yield derp rocket. They just need to they need to time it right. Oh, that's a good oh, mine. That's a good. Oh, that's very unfortunate because it rams them right into the sandwich. Oh, oh my goodness. Could they get? Oh, wait a minute. The whole GW Bush is hole broken. Wait a minute. Hold that GG oh. call. Hold that GG call. We might have a turnabout here. This is a very very yeah, unfortunate turn of events. events. That yeah. missed ram kill may have just cost them the that match here. Goomba that no, there. it's not going to be a spire Goomba. No. That's going to be a oh. spire Hawacha coming into play. Yep. Oh my oh, goodness, man. that is just a terrible way to end your tournament. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they had the GG and GG, just yeah. whiffed. Yeah. 5-4 in favor of Clan Clan Spud Spud. And we are going to get the grand finals that I called earlier, but my goodness, Circle in the Sand giving mm -hmm. it away.